Shirt off, pants down, what is up everyone, Kenny KO back with another video. Everything you guys need to know will be in the description down below. And like I mentioned in previous videos, if you guys are interested in SARMs or gear or anything in the underground bodybuilding world, make sure to subscribe to my second channel which will be in the link down below. Without further ado guys, we found another fake night. I honestly feel like I could make one of these videos every single day for the rest of my life regarding either fake weights, Photoshop, or fake natties and make a video, like I said, every single day for the rest of my life and still have enough content to get out there. There is so many going down, guys, that don't even get recognition. So Carlton Loth, um, he definitely claims natural on his YouTube channel. I was scrolling through his Instagram page, I couldn't really find him claiming natural, but obviously he does on his YouTube and it was fairly active recently. And this guy is the most shredded not the most shredded I've ever seen, but by far one of the top physiques I've ever seen conditioning wise. And he claims natural, like this blows my mind. I don't know how he can ever deceive people or who would ever believe this. This guy not only is an IFBB pro, which we all know is a huge red flag because everyone that competes for the most part, like 98% are gonna be on gear or substances. And he claims natural. And not only, like I said, is he an IFBB pro, he wins. IFBB Pro shows. And let's not just talk about, you know, being a fake natty. He also photoshops, guys. And, you know, I've called out people about photoshopping, and you guys know the videos I'm talking about with the hard black lines, like you just straight up took a Sharpie pen and outlined your body. I had people that DM'd me after my Photoshop videos saying that it was a shadow. This is a shadow, okay? This is a shadow, this is not a hard outline. This is Photoshop, okay? This hard black line, that is not shadow. This is a shadow, like I just said. Do you see a hard black line around the bottom of my arm? And you notice how the shadow moves with my arm. The shadow isn't right up against my body, enhancing parts of my physique that obviously would want to be enlarged. So like I was saying with the conditioning guys, Carlton Loth has some of the most insane conditioning I've ever seen. And as you guys know, I have no problem with anyone that uses gear or substances or HGH or whatever you're taking out there. Just as long as you don't claim natural. I'm tired of people giving the wrong mindset for those that are getting into the industry, wanting to come up and wanting to learn as much as possible and how to get to where that person is at. And for you to just push lies is what really bothers me and that's why I make these videos and call out these athletes. Because we try to keep everything 100% honest, transparent, so you guys really understand what goes down within the fitness industry. So this guy, like I was saying with the conditioning, you know, the most insane conditioning I've ever seen, um, regardless what he's on though, extremely impressive physique, but like I said, he claims natural, so we gotta tear him apart for it. He's in this condition, from what I can see on his Instagram now, he could always recycle photos, which is a very common theme for Instagram models, and those are in the fitness industry and want to use the best pictures. What they'll do is they'll take their best photos, and they've got hundreds, if not thousands of them, that they just recycle through year round. So when they're in bulking phases, they're not going to be posting current photos, they're going to be recycling old photos, so that looks like they're in the shredded condition year round. But it also brings up the question, like, he may actually be in this condition year round because he's definitely not natural. Like, I can guarantee with a hundred, not even a hundred percent, a thousand percent certainty that Carlton Loth is not natural. There is no possible way, guys, I would fly out and do a drug test this very moment if he addresses this video. Because like I said, I am so good at calling this out. I've, you know, I've brought this up in numerous videos. I've been around people I've used, I've competed. I understand what goes down and I understand the mindset. Um, obviously I don't agree with the mindset and the mindset is they want to push product, they want to help increase their following and they want to stand out on social media. You know, Instagram is so competitive now with how many people are on social media and how fast and rapidly it's growing that it's extremely hard to stand out. And you know, that's why the fake weights started. People wanted to stand out with lifting the most amount of weight, the Photoshop because they want the most insane physiques and then obviously claiming natural because they want the natural fan base of Instagram to follow you thinking that they can attain that physique naturally. So Carlton Moth, I'm making this video, you're probably gonna see it, you're probably gonna get spammed by all my <laughs> followers and subscribers. Just take natural out of your YouTube bio, if you have it on any of your Instagram pictures, take it out. Just don't address the subject, you know, I could care less if you never acknowledge that you've taken anything, just do not say you're natural. If the question comes up, you know, maybe try and diverge to, hey, how are the Red Sox doing? Or just some other complete different question because it's that natural 
part in the bio and in the descriptions and everything that really just <laughs> sets me off and makes me want to make these videos. And like I was touching on guys, anyone that claims that that hard black line around their arm is a shadow, obviously has no idea <laughs> what a shadow is. Shadow? Not shadow. Okay, it's a very simple concept, how someone ever argues that. I understand Photoshop, I've had people you know, teach me tutorials and reach out to me in emails of how they do it. And the reason they do it is they put that hard black line, they cut themselves out, enhance the parts of the image that they want to put, and they put themselves back in the image. But a lot of the time they neglect to take out that hard black line, so it leaves a little bit of an evidence trail, which is just really sloppy on their part. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. As always, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Like I said, everything you need to know will be in the description down below. Make sure to stay shredded, stay aesthetic. Signing out.